friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract of grade 3 nuclear sclerosis along with mild floppy iris let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber and it is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision and one more side port is made on the right side of the main incision. Capsular excess is done with the help of a uterator forceps the anti-capsule is torn by the tip of the uterator, a tag is held and the tag is guided to do a continuous covilinear capsular axis. This is an adequate size to axis of about 5 mm. Visco is expressed and now hydro dissection is done. I touched the iris and the pupil is tending to become small. So I asked for adrenaline, a bit of preservative free adrenaline is being injected into the anterior chamber and the people starts dilating. Visco is again injected and now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. The machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3. From the very beginning I am using 450 millimeter of mercury vacuum 45 AFR and 60% ultrasonic energy. Aspirating some superficial cortical lens matter. And now I turn the handpiece, make the bevel up. And in this case, I am going to do mechanical job. Just bury the teeth come back to irrigation and use the chopper to divide the nucleus. So just bury the tip, stay there, be in irrigation and use the chopper to slice the nucleus. So this is mechanical chop. At this time, a bit of iris is incarcerated at the side port. Though the side port is small, it has come and it is trying to peep through the side port. This is because the iris a bit the iris is a bit of floppy in this case. So in such cases, what we do is, we first remove the handpiece and then remove the chopper. Otherwise, we can cause some injury to the iris at the side port. If we remove the handpiece first, the iris will fall back and then we can easily remove the chopper. Now cortical cleanup is being done with the help of this bimanual irrigation aspiration. First the cortex has been hydrated by the irrigating proof and now it is coming very easily. And in this case I am trying to remove all the cortex being there and it is done. I didn't have to change hands 
and all the cortex has come out. And now an intraocular lens is being implanted. I am using a C cartridge and a hydrophilic lens so I need not enlarge the main wound. Here goes the lens. Both the haptics are in the capsular bag now. The haptics have taken shelter at the equatorial region of the capsular bag. We can see that the optic is overlapped all around by a rim of anterior capsule. So the size of the erexis is about 5 mm. And now the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma all around. The This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is formed very nicely. Integrity of all the wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any wound. And then few drops of moxie is applied and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. So whenever you find a case with mild floppy iris and if you see that the iris has got incarcerated in the sideboard always remove the handpiece first let the iris fall back and then remove the chopper be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence